Welcome back to another uh, episode of uh, Imperial Splendor in the Empire Total War range, and it's uh, the 2.2 mod, and it's a 2.2 then. It shows what's on my mind at the moment, doesn't it? Right, okay, the first thing I want to do is keep the Austrians at bay. I want to sabotage them again, as I normally do. Um, I don't really mind which ones I sabotage, so long as I sabotage them. Where are all my people? Here and here and here. Right, okay, I think I'll get him to sabotage... Whoops. Him come on, to sabotage this one. I don't know why. Uh, come on, speed up a little bit. They always start slow, don't they? Successful mission. Wow, first time. I'm very impressed with these agents. I shouldn't say that, should I? It's all going to go badly wrong now. Right, okay, I'd like also to... Um, also sabotage these, if possible. Sabotage army there. Mission failed. Right, OK. That's the biggest army he's got. That's the one I want to stop the most, I think. What's he got in here? Two. And in there, three. Oh, I'm not too worried about small armies like that. Well, I'm not really worried about any of them, but... Um, let's just um, sabotage this one. I'm only worried... Hey? No, I don't want to do that. I want to sabotage the army, please. Yep. 43%. Mission failed. Oh dear. We could end up with some Austrians coming to attack us this turn. <sighs> well, can't do anything about that, I'm afraid. That's just the way it has to be. At least this major part of his army. In fact, this is the damaged part. This is the one I want him to attack with most, really. But, okay. Uh, I can't do anything about that. Right, now, I have a plan. Um, basically, it was just too much of a temptation to resist so I'm not going to resist it I'm going to go straight for it I've got a couple of here we go these I'm going to get these into the Berlin area into here and another one perhaps no nope, this one into here as well yep just sort of out of the way around there then I'm going to get him I don't know where um, somewhere, I don't know, perhaps around here maybe, about there, uh, him, I don't know, perhaps a little bit further over this way, oh crikey, look at that, there's a real nest of them there, isn't there, right, the poles are doing really well in this, but you can see easily, can't you, wh what my target is going to be, it is just too... Um, inviting to resist, isn't it? You know, how can I possibly resist something like that? But anyway, uh, I'm going to move my um, troops. Well, for a start, through. To, have I selected them all? They've got a really good movement range. That can't be right, surely. Something isn't right. Um, it is. Wow. Well, I'm not going to put them through that building because that's such a good movement range. I don't think I can better that. So, you know, especially because I've got um, artillery as well. Yep, declare war. I don't need anybody to join in with this. Um, right, join by Denmark. Oh, we're really close, aren't we? Oh, they don't get there. That looked like they could go all the way to there, didn't they? That's, that's not fair, is it, that? That's really, really unfair. Right, OK. Um, these guys, I know I'm not going to be able to take the... Um, hmm, what can I do here? Yeah, I know I'm not going to be able to take the artillery in, because they're the ones that are slowing me down. What I'm going to do, take out the artillery. I'm also going to take out one least needed unit as well. What about that one? Okay, and I'm going to attack with those. Okay, hoping that, that that unit is there. Good. And I'll just continue siege on that. Then what I'm going to do is distract. Oh yes, I can reach. That's really good. I'm going to distract these guys here um, by launching my um, goons at them. Which, of course, I'm going to break the siege up. Look at that. That shows you my favourite. That looks like I can take both places, doesn't it? That's amazing. Will I be able to do it once I've taken this, though? I very much doubt it. My biggest problem with doing that is that um, if I did take both, it's settling both places. I just don't think I'm going to be able to do it. Anyway, these are Firelock armed citizenry, so instead of going um, fighting those, you know, okay, I've got platoon firing now and all sorts of things, he still outranges me, which is a damn nuisance. So he is going to cause some casualties. Um, I, I can attack him in the flanks and things, but the AI seems to 
prove much more in my favour for these things. So I'm going to actually just do an auto resolve on this one in the hope that I lose less than I would have done. 140. That's less than 10 per unit. I'm going to suffer that, you know, because I think that's a good result for me in that one. Oh, great. I can't repair. I'll just repair that one then. There's um, a university in here, that one there. So I'm going to get rid of that. Uh, I'm going to build something better there. I've, has he got anything else, like any Protestant places or anything? Let's have a look. Do 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 do. Classical university? No. Uh, the um, gardens? Uh, excellent. Right now, I mean, excellent for settling the population. I don't mean the roses smell nice. So right, okay, all the way down to here. Let's get these guys. I know they can't get there straight away, but they will get there eventually with a little bit of luck. So. Uh, these aren't in my way, are they, on this road? I don't think... He's not on the road, is he? No, he isn't. Right, OK, well, let's take them through the buildings then, so they get there a little bit quicker. What did I move? These, isn't it? OK, I've had a look, by the way. They're, they're extremely happy, the population in there now. Obviously because they're ruled by the good old French, you know, so... They're bound to be happy, aren't they? So, right, okay, I'm not sure if I need to go through there. I think I prob whoops, I think I probably do. Let's give it a try anyway and see which direction they're going. Uh, that way. Yeah, but I don't think they need to go through there. I'm going to move them through there, though. I think that's going to be on the road. Okay. And then... Oh, no. I shouldn't have moved them in. Damn, are they not on the road or what? Let's have a look. Well, they are, but they didn't choose that bit of road. I've brought them through here. Never mind, it's done now. Um, can't know anything about it, so there's no point in whinging. Right, now this guy here I've left. Um, I wonder um, if that siege... Ah, look, my men don't count anymore. OK, so I'm going to bring that chap back. Oh, look, he can go all the way into there as well. That's good, isn't it? Uh Yep, OK, let's do that then. If he attacks my guns, I'll simply retreat. I don't have a problem with that, because um, they'll probably retreat over there anyway, and, um, you know, he's not going to be able to chase me up, I don't think, is he? He's got a small army. If he brings that army out of there, uh, well, I say a small army, it's, um, it's not a substantial one, that's the main thing, uh, then, of course, the Poles are going to attack him, aren't they? So, uh, he's still at war with them, so I really can't see that happening, but, anyway, OK. Um, that all looks good. Anything else I need to do? Um, can I replenish those troops? I, I probably can, you know. Uh, yeah. I don't have a lot of money. <laughs> In fact, I've hardly got any at all. Okay, well, that's got some of them sort of... <laughs> one left! Wow! Oh, one franc left. Um, oh, what else do I need to do? Um... I think... Yeah, OK, Let, let's go over to the Americas. That's mine now, that's good. It's worth a lot of money, by the way, this. That's why I've gone for it. 1500 per turn. One of the richest places I've got that. Uh, if we look in here for the regions, you'll find um, that... Hey, that's good, actually. Ah, yeah, but it's... Yeah, but that's what I've just taken. 6,000 and odd. Oh, is that actually the richest? No. Uh, France, 6,329. Berlin, 6,220. That's very close, isn't it, really? Very, very close. What's the next big one? 2000 something? Uh, do you know, I think that... Um, where? Where's London, in fact? England, there, London. 6,690. They're pretty close, aren't they? London, France and... Uh, sorry, London, Paris and Berlin are pretty darn close, aren't they? But uh, it's three major capitals that we've taken there that are good money spinners for us, or will be in the future. I need to get rid of that, of course. And I need to um, develop those other places. Um, they're going to settle population. At, and I need to get the Dragoons in place. OK. Over to the Americas now. I also have a plan for here. I want to get this six rate that's up here somewhere. Um, uh, yep. I'm going to get him over to, um, I don't know, Newfoundland first. Let's get him over to here. Okay, and then I'm going to get my um, sloop to follow on behind, uh, say to about here. 
uh, it's, it's sort of arbitrary really the main thing is that um, that I can get some um, get, get my troops out that way um, uh, these down at the bottom here can't move yet the Jamaican ones they really can't do anything because they're where are we come on oh miles away I wish I had those anchors yeah um, because these troops here particularly the, the artillery are sort of stuck in place at the moment so I can't know anything about that so I'll get those next turn oh dear it's like somebody's calling me as well so do I hope someone else is gonna get that oh I think someone already has right okay um, Right, okay. Um, I think it's a turn end. Um, hmm, anything else we can do? Still, uh, I wonder. Um, am I still stealing research? I think I am, aren't I? Let's look at the agents. Um, Voltaire is in Lyon. And New Orleans. And... Um, uh, what's this one? No. Uh, this one. Right, okay, where's he? He's in Dresden, isn't he? In Savoy. He should be stealing something. Let's just check that he is. Yeah, he's stealing the, um, what is it, the flying shuttle or something? Yes, he is. Okay, right. Uh, just double checking, because I must have done that on a previous video. So, uh, actually, it might just be worth me checking. I think I've looked already, but just to see if there's anything we can do with these guys. No, nothing at all. Okay, right. End of turn. All's going well, I think. Provided we get enough money to settle Berlin, hopefully it's going to raise enough money for me to be able to do that. It doesn't look like Austria making an attack, does it? But they are mobilising. They are building up their troops in that area. Where's he going? <laughs> That's some Prussian troops from goodness knows where that just decided to attack some Poles. Um, hmm. I, I think it's Dresden, isn't it, the southern one? Uh, okay. I, it's in my interest to keep Prussia in the game for as long as possible, really, so Poland have, have got an enemy. Uh, Okay, Russia, hmm, Sweden, nobody is threatening me, not yet anyway, but Poland look like the kind of uh, nation that can do it though, don't they? I, I think I'm fairly friendly with them though, you know, the only problem is that they're allied to the Austrians, so I can't make an open alliance with them because of the Austrians. I, I could, I suppose, try and get a piece of the Austrians, but they just don't like me really, so I'd have to give them quite a lot, and it, it, to give them something when they're so aggressive towards me is a bit tricky really, I think. I really need to beat them into submission and take their main capital, don't I? But anyway, what have we got here? Technical... Re have we got it? Hey, we stole it! That's brilliant! Oh, that's good! Right, what are we going to get next time then? Huh, that's really good. I'm going to get, um... I don't know. But this one? Does that cause any minuses? Uh four field crop rotation. Um hmm. I don't know. I think uh I I'm gonna go for that one. Why not? Twelve percent is good enough. Let's go for that. Right. Um, I'm not going to go for the ones that might give me any minuses because I don't know if it affects the whole region or if it re affects other places. Really not too sure, but I just don't want to risk it. Right, OK. Um, I'm going to make room for those Dragoons that I've brought in. So I need 14 spaces. Well, they're Dragoons as well. In fact, if he counts, that would then be, what, 15 spaces. Is that right? Oh, no, I've only got 12 in there. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. For some reason, oh, I've not brought them all over. I have. I've probably counted those as dragoons when I was working it out before. Oh, never mind. It doesn't matter. Um, so I need to make 12 spaces in here, but I need to put that dragoon back in there as well, don't I? Uh, this one. Okay, so there will be 13 dragoons in there. Have I got any dragoons in there at the moment? None at all. Right, so I need to leave um, 13 spaces, so that means I need to... Sorry, I need room for 13, so I need 7 in there, don't I? So, who am I going to leave in there? Um, well, 
I'll take out one. Well, I might as well just take out all these, and I. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So if I take all of those out of there and put them, say, I don't know, down here somewhere, uh, so they're next to the town and can help defend it. Yeah, put the dragoon back in there. Yeah, and then put these in there. Will it settle the place? Oh blimey, which way around did they go? <sighs> Do you know, I thought they weren't going to go in then. And we've still got red. Damn, we've got a minus five red on the middle classes. Why? Um, well, I don't care. They're just going to have to write a letter to me or something. That's what they do, isn't it? So, um, you're going to join those. Okay, good. And, well, nothing more I can do there. I've got a full 20 in there. I've got loads and loads of gear. All the Dragoons I've got available. So, that's just going to have to do, I'm afraid. I can't know anything more about that. I might be able to replenish them. I'll look into that in a moment. Uh, workers on strike. Yeah, okay, that's Brandenburg. Um, uh, letter of demand, Brandenburg. Yeah, that's what I'm going to get next turn from the middle classes, isn't it? Technology stolen. Dealt with that one already. Uh, construction report. Oh, good. Ah! Now I have a school. Uh, that's the one in Manchester. Just been to Manchester today, actually. Well, Stockport, actually, south of Manchester. Um, yeah, not a pleasant journey, I'm afraid. My mother's seriously ill in hospital. The pneumonia. That was unpleasant, but I don't want to spoil everybody's day, so we'll not talk about that. Uh, Audrey uh, Profund. And I don't know what to get, really, with this one now. I think Advanced Irrigation is probably a good one. Yep, sounds good to me. It's just such a shame I can't um, bargain with these things. It won't let me do it, will it? So it really has taken you know, one of my weapons away from me, if you like. I'm going to get a church school in this one. Um, see if I can conf convert it to Catholicism. It's going to take a while, but I think we might just settle this place. Let's uh, repair that as well. Make it happy. I don't know about this as well. I think... Uh, I'm, ah, I know for... Oh dear. In that case, I'm not going to repair that. I definitely want this. It's the most important thing to me. Ah, in that case, I'm not going to build that then. <laughs> Yep, okay, let's get that. That's the number one priority importance. It gives me something like a plus five or something. What, what does it give me? Let's have a look. Come on. Yeah, plus four. And it will go down each turn. So the nobility are going to be happy next turn, aren't they? So let's do that then. And then perhaps um, replenish the troops. These in particular. Those. No, in fact, let's have a look at these that are outside the town. Maybe these are the ones that should be done first. Okay. Oh, blimey. Oh, no replenishment required. Oh. Right. Oh, because some of them are... Right, some of them are already being done. Is that right? Okay, let's do these then. Uh, where was I? From... No, I'll do these first here. Right. Then add that one. And then replenish those. Wow, 1,007 brings me down to 94. Not good, is it? Right, let's try sabotaging these Austrians again. I just want to sort of keep them out of the war until, well, until I'm ready for them, really. So let's try this one first. Uh, sabotage army. Mission failed this time. Oh dear. Oh dear. Now then, this guy. Can you sabotage them? Successful mission. Excellent. Okay, um, this is one reason why I thought I should get, you know, an inn instead of uh, that church school up at the top, because they're quite handy, aren't they, these? Do I do these, or do I do these? There are more of those, but I'm tempted to go for these. Sabotage army. Yeah. Successful mission. Excellent. Right, OK, well, at least it's taken a decent number of his troops out of the game, hasn't it, really? So, well, for now. Um, right, now, let's go and have a look over at the um, the Americans now. Oh, over the Americas, rather, not the Americans. Um, right, first of all, let's split these fleets up. Come on, what are you doing? Split the fleets up. I want two in one of the fleets and two in the other. So I'll have two in there. I'm hoping to sort of utilise these until the enemy sort of decides... Oh, hang about a minute. There are some um, French ships dotted about that are a bit isolated, taking advantage of the fact that the uh, pirates are away, of course. Right, now from here I want one heavy cavalry and I want uh, three light cavalry. One, two, three. 
Uh, and I'll give them an infantry as well, a decent sized infantry unit, or a decent quality infantry unit, I should say. Good, right, so there should be one heavy, three lights, yes there are. Let's put those on those ships then. Uh, right, okay, these are the ones that are going to go to Quebec. I've been wanting some decent troops in there for a while. So some 18 pounders will be really, really nice in there. Now these guys are going to come over and meet up with, eventually, this guy here that's coming down. So let's move in that direction. Um, this way. Okay. Now, he should be able to move also in that direction, perhaps this way. Now, where can he meet? Will it be there? Will it be there? Right, he's going to go further. He's actually going to get to there next time. So I only need to go to there. So if I move him, say, to there, just to be absolutely certain of it, yeah, that should do it. Right, now, I know now that he can get to there next turn, don't I? But again, just to be absolutely certain about where everything's going to go, I'm going to bring the sloop out to... I don't know. Well, certainly to there. OK. Now that sloop... Oh, he can't get back next turn anyway. He can't reach. Oh, he might... Yeah, he might be able to, because there's still have a bit more movement. Of course he will, yeah. So this guy now should be able to overreach going back next turn. Uh, not quite. Uh, he's got... That is his full move to there. I think that sloop's going to have to be a little bit further forward. Or he needs to be just a little bit further back to get this right. Let's see what happens. Yeah, he doesn't need to be quite that far, does he? If I move him back just a little, say, to there, OK, he can now reach to there next turn, yeah. Now he can reach to there. He might just be able to do it. If I bring that sloop just a little bit further over, I might just do it all in one turn. Just bring him forward just that little bit, say, to there. OK, that's got to do it, hasn't it, really? I think that has to do it for next turn. Right, OK, so we can get them all the way over to Quebec, so it doesn't matter what those Indians do then, does it? We'll be ready for them. Excellent. Right, now these into here. I oh, know I don't like splitting my, my fleets in this way, but I'm just going to have to do it for now. Uh, well, we just have to ride on... on um, on the wave of... Oh, hang on. I can get... Oh, that's strange. I can get four in this one, can I? What's going on here? One, two, three, four. Three, one, two, three, and... The oh, I see. I thought he was heavy and he was heavy. No, no, that's okay then. All right, we're sorted. Okay, I'm going to leave the general behind. It might help settle the place. Oh, the nobility are unhappy in here as well. Oh dear me. Uh, maybe they're going to have to go with a slightly less portion of caviar with their champagne um, this winter. Oh, I don't know. Uh, it's sad, isn't it? Um, right, OK. Over to... Uh, where are we? Over to this one, I think. Um, maybe I should have brought this sloop out, actually, to meet them. Uh, yeah, that might have been a plan. I know I didn't do it, so there you go, tough. <laughs> uh, right, I think that is about it. I'm still in the research. I'm uh, replenishing my troops. Um, I, did I look to see if I could attack somebody with my fleet down here? I don't think I did. Let's go and have another look then. Uh, yep, nothing around there. Um, looks like we might just be able to settle Berlin. Really depends on what the Poles do, doesn't it, really? Whether they're going to um, launch an attack or not. I'm very tempted to just jump in and take um, uh, take Dresden. I just can't afford it yet, that's the thing. I can, well, I can't afford to settle it. That's the, the main issue, isn't it? I need to sort that out next turn as well. But anyway, let's do another turn end. Oh, do you know, I've just realised I didn't set my stopwatch at all for this. I have no idea how long this video is now. I thought I'd press the button, but obviously not. Oh, what a nuisance. I have no clue how long this video has been going on for. 
Um, I'm going to guess, because I didn't fight any battles, I've done two turns, and they've been pretty well organised turns, even though I say it myself, I knew what I was doing. I'm going to guess it's 25 minutes. So, that gives me only five minutes left, of course. Um, oh, what happened there? Oh, right, the Poles were repulsed by the, um, by the Prussians, that's good news for me. Maybe taking Berlin has actually helped their situation because it's enabled them to consolidate their troops in one place instead of being split between two. I wonder if the Poles would have gone in and taken Berlin if I hadn't taken it, you know. I mean, that was just such a, an obvious target, wasn't it, leaving it like that. But uh, anyway, hmm. Okay, what I want to achieve in this video, actually, I should have mentioned it. Okay, it was to dissipate those those troops that I had for the um, uh, on the pirate island, you know, to get them into the right places. Because that's partly what this has been all about. It's been sorting out the pirates, but it's also been um, getting horse troops into the areas where the Indians are, so that I can chase them off, so they don't keep blooming coming back and raiding and doing it again and again and again. I, I needed something, and also the 18 pounders will give me that bit of extra reach that I need, and of course the uh, the close-up case shot that I get from them is really good. So if I attack anywhere with those guns, there's a good chance the Indians will stand there and just get pummeled, which is great. They won't have any answer to it. They just think, oh, stand here, I'll run out of ammunition eventually. But of course my guns don't run out of ammunition. Shh, by the way, don't tell the Imperial Splendor team that. <laughs> okay, I hope they're not listening. Goodness me. No, please leave me with the extra ammunition. I like that. We'll find it anywhere. Do you know you can get saltpeter from under people's, you know, houses and things, take up the slates and stuff like that, so on the floor. So yeah, we can get power anywhere. Okay, technological advance. Excellent. For fuel crop rotation. We are doing so, so well with this. Wow. Letters of Jamand... De <laughs> Letters of Jamand de Maker. I nearly said then. <laughs> okay, what are they going to do? They're going to be unhappy again, are they? Okay, well, so I don't know what happens when the nobility remain unhappy for a long period of time. Perhaps now is my chance to find out. Maybe I'm going to have to fight somebody. Um, I don't know, but so long as they're only armed with quill pens, I don't think I'm going to be too worried about it. I've never, ever had a problem with anything the, the upper classes do. So, anyway, what I was going to do, I was going to check out that research, wasn't I? Um, technology stolen, because that's where I got it from, wasn't it? Stealing it. This is going really well, this stealing research, actually. I just wish it was more valuable stuff, you know, well, more useful to me, like the, the military stuff. But they either don't have it, or it's a different type of research than I would get, so it's a different tree. I just don't know. I suspect they've changed the military tree so that um, so I can't steal from this, uh, because their tree is just different from mine. And, but, so I can steal still from these instead. Now that will give me a minor, so I won't even show you, but it will. This I quite like actually. I like the fact that my roads will go better, wealth generated by industrial buildings, etc. That's a good one on 12. This is on the 8 and it, it gives me a minus... No, actually 15% produced. But no, I'm going to go for this one because, like I said, it gives me um, a, what is it, a 5% bonus, you know, generated, rather, 5% wealth generated by industrial buildings. Um, plus 5% to town wealth from all buildings. That has to be pretty good, doesn't it? And not only that, I can build some roads where I need them to get my troops moving around quickly. And when I get the cadence marching, it might be even better. Letters of Demand Brandenburg. Um, they're okay, they're yellow. That's excellent, isn't it? Right, I can build this now. Now I want my church school. Okay. Everybody's being replenished, aren't they? Yes, they are. Yep. And these... Uh, all done by the look of it. Yep, yeah, I think so. Um, that's a demand, that's a demand. Technology stolen, we know about that. Trade gain, thank you very much. And this is the big one fleet arrives. Now, what I want to do with this. Oh gosh, have I sent them to the right place? Yeah, okay, there's a red one, and it's Austrians. Um, I see what the Austrians have got. I'm, I'm going to sort of move up to them first just to have a look because you never know. Um, up here. Let's go here first. Uh, because we're going in that direction anyway, so it doesn't matter, does it? Right, okay. Who are all these? Magull, Persia, Portugal. There's another one there, you know. What on earth is there? Oh dear. Never mind. We know what the Austrians have got. Is that all they've got? Wow. Oh, that's a gift. That is such a gift. 
Right, well, I'm just going to have to go in there and take those because they're, they're just mine, aren't they? <laughs> Three trade ships. Is it worth really showing this? I don't think so um, because I'm just going to capture three trade ships. So, uh, and I'll take out their sails. Um, they're slow anyway in terms of manoeuvrability. So, I, they're mine. So, um, anyway, I'm, I'm not going to show this. Like I say, I'm just going to get in there, take his trade ships and then take this hub back in a second. Okay, well, I don't think anybody would be surprised at this result. I've captured all three of them. I didn't even get my trade ships into it. I just left them out the back somewhere. I've obviously taken some hits, I think. I don't know. Not many. Oh, I can't even notice. Anyway, not enough to be noticeable. So, um, that's very good. Thank you very much. I've got three trade ships that I didn't pay for, so very pleased about that. Um, I'm tempted to go over there and see what's in there, but what I'm going to do is, because we've used our full movement for now, hey, that's not bad, 1,075, because I've used my full movement for now, I might just send somebody over, you know, one of my warships, over to their next turn, because I'll have enough movement to be able to get there and back. So I'll go over there, have a look at him, um, and then, if I can attack, bring all the rest of the ships over and take him as well, whoever's in there. Um, I mean, there might be nobody in there, but I suspect at this stage in the game, this far on, somebody will be on that hub. And I suspect it's somebody like Prussia, perhaps, who um, who just can't trade anymore because I've taken their Berlin port or, I, I don't know, something. But it's, um, hmm, it's, it's worth looking into anyways now, I think. So, anyway, well, we'll see. But that, that's gone down really, really well for me, that. Um, did I move all of my ships? That's the thing. Uh, uh, yes, he looks like he's... Yeah. Okay, they're all in the right position. Yeah, he can reach. Excellent. So, this one onto here. Or these two, if you like, onto here. Brilliant. So far, all's going to plan. And... No, not him. Him and him, I suspect. Yep. Down to here. Him. Let's hope he can reach the sloop. If he can... Yes then I can do this, maybe, all in one turn. Let's see if I can. Uh, over to there, and then this one out to here for now. I don't know where I'm going to put him. I think I'll bring him out here instead. Yep, and then this one, now with the army on, will he reach? Oh, he won't reach, look! Do you know, it was almost perfect. Almost. Oh, what a pain, hey? What a pain. Right, bring him to here then. Well, I nearly did it. I could do with getting the troops off though, um, rather than leaving them on there. I don't want to leave troops out in the open exposed like that. So, um, how are they going to get there? Will they go that way? This way? That way they'll go to there. This way they'll go all the way to there. No chance. So I'm going to drop them here if I can. Excellent. Okay, well they've probably got enough movement next turn to be able to get wherever I want them to go, over to there or wherever. I just don't know, but I'm not going to leave them on the ship, because if that ship gets attacked and it's only a sloop with those on, then I've lost them. So I think I'm better off in a position like this. So, okay, where are the others then? These here. Over to, And they can get all the way. Excellent. Right, it's looking good. Um, maybe I should have met them halfway actually, and then got the sloop, and then got the sloop to go back, and then I could have had these ships out, but, oh, never mind, I've done it now, so, that's just going to have to be tough, I'm afraid. Right, now, these, out to here. Now, okay, Indians, do your worst, because we're going to be ready for you now, and these chaps that are in here, I can now replenish these. Or repair them, or whatever you do. Yep. And, oh, they're not in a port, are they, the other ones? So we can ignore those. Um, oh, I think everything is replenishing over here, isn't it? I, I know it is. I don't even need to check. I know that's being done. So, okay. Um, but what I do need to do is check on these. I don't think I've moved these yet, have I? Or rather sabotaged with them yet. Nope. So let's get that done this turn as well. Sabotage army. Successful mission. Excellent. We're really keeping him down, aren't we? He's going to have to go in with half an army, you see, if he wants to attack me. That's the idea. You know. Um, uh, break his ability to put a decent attack together. Let's try with this one against this big army here. I know he's growing bigger and bigger armies all the time. But I'm going to be ready for those when it comes. Okay, what about him? 
mail, uh, failed. Mailed. I was going to say mission failed, and I ended up with mailed. Right, sabotage army. Successful mission. Excellent. Right, well, you're going to come for me. You better go for me now, and, well, yeah, go for me now with just this army, please. Just this one here. And leave yourself totally exposed in there. That's what I like to see. And then the Poles can change their alliance. Al al what am I doing? I, I wanted to say allegiance or alliance. I ended up with alliance. Something is going wrong today. I think I'm lacking sleep. I'm going to have to do something about that. Right, okay. Um, these. What do we do? Do I actually get an army together and go and attack this place? I could, you know. We're big enough to do it. Um, and this place is now settled. And next turn we're going to get 7,800 and 38. The next thing to do is clear my um, uh, trade routes, isn't it? Um, yeah, I've become bound to be being pirated from all sorts of different places. Let's have a look at my trade. Oh, actually, look at that. There's nothing. Nothing is hurting me at all anywhere. Look at all that trade. This is going really, really well. Um, uh, right. Okay, build up the trade ports now, get some better ships, build up some better shipyards, etc., or dockyards, or whatever you want to call them. Uh, how are we doing for tech? We're, oh, we're quite a long way off that. Oh, good. The drill book. Excellent. I'm looking forward to this. What I want to do is get um, I go into Indian territory, set myself off into squares, um, and then put my horse between the alleys, if you like, between the squares. So anything attacking them, I'll just go and attack them back. And um, uh, and he won't be able to hurt me because we'll be in these wonderful squares. Um, uh, plus, we've got quicker speeds for our um, artillery. So, yep, excellent stuff. Okay, right, all going well. Anyway, I've no idea how much time I've done now. I would guess about forty under forty minutes. I would hope, perhaps thirty eight minutes. I'm really not too sure. But anyway. Sorry about that. I, thought I probably overjudged it or misjudged it. But um, thanks again for watching, folks. Um, next thing on the cards, I'm not sure really. Build up trade routes, build up trade, build up plantations, and build up some decent ships to protect it all. I think that's going to be the way. Oh, and perhaps I will look at that other trade hub just to see if I can steal a few more trade ships. Because you've just got three trade ships just sitting there waiting for me to steal them. That's going to be fun, isn't it? But hmm. anyway, thanks for watching again.